Eye Paint World Hug Face Paint Tutorial Easy Got Cameron My four year old He's sleepy right here you guys We have the pink one He has the blue one We have the lime green It's a black one And a little bitty red one The YouTube characters Uh uh, some people don't like them. I mean, it's no biggie to me. You're raising your kids, right? You ain't got to worry about anything. You know what I mean? A lot of times. So, colors I'm going to be needing today for this is the red, black, white, and pink. I did the blue one. Uh, I'll post that video later on. I don't think I like how that one turned out, so I tried a different way. Uh, it was my first time painting this, this character, so. Now you guys bear with me. On this, this time, I'm gonna start with uh, the lips. So that character has crazy looking lips. And from experience, this is my second time doing this. Uh, I found that this may be the easiest way if you guys get this request at a party or event I started with the lips and then uh, I'm gonna use it another brush like one of those medium brushes to fill in the black inside where it's gonna be the mouth uh, I probably could use a smaller brush on this time but you know, I just going with what I have right in front of me. I didn't feel like getting up to be honest. It's just storming over here. Flash flooding. Everywhere in Dallas. Okay, so reason why I'm doing the black inside of the mouth first is because I want that black to dry when I start adding the pink on. See, if I let the black dry, then when I come back to put the teeth on the black, it won't mix together and make gray. The teeth will still look white. So that's why I'm going ahead and add the black. So it will dry by the time I put that layer of white on top of it. That guy's just a trick to this stuff. Unless you're trying to get a nice blend or something. I mean, it's okay to let that paint dry sometimes. But this is a longer video because um, I'm usually five, six minutes a face. A uh, good face painter, you can get a wow from um, an audience of or parents, people watching you paint within two minutes. No less than two minutes, people already see what you're doing. You hear him talking, oh, he's fast, he's good, blah, 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 you know. I've actually heard kids say, oh, you're the best face painter in the world. I wish I could have recorded that. And when I do parties, I don't, um, I would allow my kids to request anything because I feel like they will enjoy the moment the memory better if it's something that they love um, I know some face painters have a little list you can choose from I mean yeah, I understand that too sometimes kids are indecisive but I mean if you give them something that they like or something that they love you know it's just it leaves them with a better feeling at the end of the day they will leave their chair with a smile Okay, so now I'm going to do the eyeballs. I believe I should have made the black a little bigger on this one. But like, guys, I'm learning too as I'm teaching you guys. Uh, and to be honest, this is actually my son's second time getting his face painted. He's been very still. 
And it's just Cameron, my four-year-old. And he actually surprised me. But I think it's because he saw me paint his brother first. So, you know, he kind of knew what to expect. And then it's something that he liked. It's something that he wanted. But he's sleepy. If you guys keep watching the video, you will see his eyes start to drift. And him kind of starting to slouch down in the chair or... Another thing, you guys, when you're painting a kid, you want them to sit all the way back. Uh, as you see right now with Cameron, I don't have him sitting back, so it's going to make it tiresome from him. Uh, but another thing, too, I'm not actually in my um, face painting chair. This is just some chairs that's at my bar at the house. I think he likes looking at himself on the camera or he's just watching what I'm doing on the camera. And sometimes when you get those kids that's moving a lot or they can't be still, you know, just hold the mirror up and let them see what you're doing. I learned a lot of times that that would, um, that would help ease them and calm them down, you know. They see what you're doing, they like it, they be like, oh, it's cool, or, you know. Wow. Yeah, you hold that mirror up, let them see what you're doing. A lot of times that calms them down. Or you can hold, let a parent hold them, hold the mirror up for them. You get those kids that get in your chair and they're scared or they feel like that is gonna hurt or be painful. Just take a clean brush and rub it against their hand. Rub it against their arm. Rub it against their face. And show them that it's not painful. It's not going to hurt. Or sometimes I just put a little paint on my arm. But I'll show you guys that as well um, in another video. So now I'm trying to get the shape of that... Um, character, a YouTube character. I don't want them to hit me with any copyright stuff, so that's why I'm not saying the names. So I'm going around the edge. And this character is kind of fur furry. And also, to create that fur look um, around the edge, I kind of like just Turn my flat brush sideways to create the hair look. I'm also using those um, smaller lining brushes, putting black lines on the face, white lines. Then I come back again with pink lines and so on. See Cameron, look at his eyes. He's ready to be out of there. I mean, just hearing that thunderstorm outside, man, it does it to me too. I was tired myself. <laughs> My beautiful angel son, Cameron. You guys don't have kids, you probably don't know where that line is from. It's from Cloudy Chance of Meatballs, the police officer. My beautiful darling son, Calvin. Beautiful angel son, Calvin. Okay, so now I'm adding the teeth on. Now right now it's not, you know, uh, the most appealing face painting. I'm just giving you an idea. I will go back in a little bit and kind of you know, fix the teeth a little better. Come a little closer. But you guys see that around the forehead, how I'm kind of trying to create that furry looking look. You know, kind of like it if you like it, you guys. 
I'm fixing eyes. See, I think that black should have been a little bigger. Because that character's eyes are a little bigger. But some, that's how you learn, though. You learn from looking at your work. I always take photos. Try to take videos, you know, and look over your work. You can see what you can do better next time. And it also helps create that muscle memory. Once you create that muscle memory, you don't have to look at any references or anything. No, you can just go and, and that will make your speed faster. But here's the end result, you guys. Because he was tired. Thank you.